Xbox Series S. Let me show you what's going on. First, I'm taking some precautions because a bug crawled out of it as soon as I put it on the bench. So I've been in quarantine. Just for your reference, if a bug crawls out of your console, that adds 24 hours to your turnaround time. And there's our problem. But I'm going to have to take this apart with caution and go for it. We have the board out of the housing and we are preparing to remove our port. In order to remove the port, I must turn on my equipment. And while I turn on my equipment, let me throw up my expected temperatures for the job. These temperatures are brought to you by the associate links in the description. If you go to my video description and click on one of these links and buy any of this equipment, a small portion of that purchase will go to supporting the channel. And I greatly appreciate you. It won't cost you an extra dime. For your orientation purposes, the board view is on the screen. While I let this board warm up, I'm going to clean up what looks like oxidation off this board. We'll apply some flux. That will also clean the bit. Flux is a cleaning detergent. Now we're just waiting for the flux to liquefy. Once it does, we'll know our board is warm enough to begin removal procedure. Our flux is liquefied and we're going to begin by applying some low melt to our anchors. My board heater is currently set to 170. I don't have that on the temperatures yet. Okay, I'm going to flip our board, flipping our orientation. We're also going to low melt these pins. Like the Series X, this console has hidden anchors. And there's nothing we can do about those, but the low melt will make sure that we don't do damage elsewhere, particularly right here. I'm going to grab our hemostats and clamp them onto the port. And we're going to come in with full power and patiently remove this port. I want to be very cognizant not to mess up that boost driver. Okay. Gently remove. Nice clean pull. Let's clean up. We will be greatly assisted by the low melt. Just have to sit on there until it comes out. Gently I'm gonna go with the pads here. We have to do it because we used a low melt. The low melt does ensure we don't tear pads. Clean gently. We don't want to knock any of these little small parts, so don't scrub hard. Just scrub as much as needed, which is not much. Especially on a preheater. Flux everything up. Bring on our hidden anchors and the pads. Put some solder on our tip. And we're just going to rub the solder ideally over the pads. More solder is needed. Not really trying to make contact with the pads. You'll make incidental contact though. But these you'll have to rub it in a little bit. A little bit. We are prepped for a new port, but we still need to prep the port itself. I'm very glad certain brokers are not doing this anymore. They're still using bags, but they're not taking the ports out of the protective packaging. Put a ball of solder on our tip. Tinner pins. More flux. A bigger iron. We're going to clear out these bridges. Get one clear, create two more. I'd rather chase bridges here though, as I have stated many times, than on the board. Now what I'm going to do here is wet these hidden anchors and our pins, mostly the hidden anchors, and then we'll place our port. This is kind of a hot swap method. Okay, and now we're going to concentrate on our pins. Get them down. I'm not overly concerned about the pins. We can touch them up later. 
But I want to get those hidden anchors down. Let's do a nudge test. Very delicate. Yes, looks good. I'm going to raise our port a little bit so we can get a look at these pins. And ladies and gentlemen, that is solid. Excellent. Flip the board. Try some more fresh looks. We want good feed through to the other side, so I'm be generous here. Excellent feed through. It's exactly what we want, and that's exactly what we get from the preheater. I love that thing. We're going to clean up. Again, gently. Going to cause other problems by scrubbing too hard. Those little filters are pretty delicate. We're going to let the board cool down a little bit, and we'll clean it out a little further. We need to clean up that port thoroughly. And then go from there. I hope you're getting value out of this video. Just a reminder, if you find you're not ready to tackle this, I do offer these services, both locally and mail-in. Just head over to micromage.repair, click free quote, fill out the form, and I'll get back to you personally. If you mention this video, I'll give you 10% off on your repair. Now comes the fun part. I need to clean the crud out of everything else. And by crud, I mean the body parts of dead bugs. Never use a metal tool to do this. Plastic pick or spudger will do the job just fine. Glowy sparkles and something and something. Just giving you a hard time, Steve. Doing things out of order. The green ones go into the plastic, which is not on there. It's all good. Okay, we better stop down and test this thing. Okay, wish me luck, I did not do a pre-test because it had bugs. Fan spin. And I see an Xbox logo. And as you can see, it's up and running. Yay! Just need to finish our assembly. We're all back together and up and running. If you got value out of this video, I think you'll get value out of this one. And I'll see you there. Until then, peace, love, and solder week. Mm -hmm.